Hey guys, welcome back. Um, this is going to be a video on tire fitment. And uh, I know there's a lot of questions asked on uh, any new vehicle that comes out. Um, what size tire can I fit stock or with a level, the biggest tire I can fit without actually ruining my truck or rubbing or fitment wise. And I'm here today to answer those questions because I haven't seen one video online about a level truck with stock tires or stock uh, wheels, sorry. So, what I have on is uh, Open Country MTs. So they're a 35 by 12 and a half. And they actually measure out to be a little bit wider with the side lug. And just to prove my fact, there it is, 35 by 12 and a half on 20s. And my truck is uh, the Big Horn Edition. It's uh, fully loaded with the moon roof. It doesn't have air suspension. So all it has is a, just your standard two inch leveling kit. That's the two little spacers you see in the front, the little silver thing poking its head out right there. And uh, so a lot of people say you can't fit. Or I see a lot of videos where people say, in order to fit a 35-inch tire, you have to remove this piece and then zip tie your fender back. But uh, that's not the case at all. So the only thing you actually need to fit these 35-inch open countries or any other 35-inch tire is uh, with your stock setup is, uh, is a quarter-inch spacer. So... You can pretty much buy these quarter inch spacers at um, any parts store. So they're about 15 bucks a piece. It ran me about $68 after tax to get these. And then I had to get them installed onto my truck. Because if uh, if you do not install these quarter inch spacers, I don't know if I can get you guys a good look, but in behind you have your control arm. And if you do not have that spacer, you will not be able to clear these tires because they're so wide and it will rub up against your control arm and it will give you a flat or you'll ruin uh, all your ball joints and everything like that so here in a second i'm going to get in the truck and we're going to go for a little drive just to prove that these 35s do not rub they do rub if you cut your wheel all the way to the left and uh, you go over a little bump not a little bump it has to be quite a quite a decent sized bump but yeah we're gonna hop in the truck and we're gonna go for a drive so here we are in the truck we're gonna get it all started up here this is a 2019 i drive quite a bit back and forth to work because of this uh coronavirus incident and my apartment got pushed back i was supposed to be moving into so right now we're stuck driving back and forth from uh where i grew up and where i'm working so here's a demonstration wheels cut all the way to the left it's not rubbing even going over some small bumps to prove my point no rub now we're gonna turn the wheel all the way to the right and reverse and there's no rub going that way either so I don't know why they tell you you have to remove anything the only thing you actually need to buy other than tires is the leveling kit and Actually, if you want to fit with the um, 35 inch without a leveling kit, see there you can hear the rub all the way to the left going over some bumps. But if you want to run 35s without a leveling kit, you can either opt for two options. You can get a skinnier tire, which is going to reduce your amount of rubbing on your fenders, or you could uh, remove that mud flap in the front and tie your fender back. That will give you the clearance you need to fit without a leveling kit. And some people like the look of a real filled up wheel well, so that would be ideal for for a lot of people. But uh, a leveling kit wouldn't cost you any more than $250 bought and installed. Pretty much any leveling kit's gonna be the same. Uh, quality is usually the same because they're a very easy thing to manufacture. But once you start getting into lifts and stuff, there's better companies to go with than, uh, than others. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. If this uh, helps you out any, um, please leave a like and comment if you'd like to see anything more or anything you'd like me to do to the truck. Nice day and it was a nice day off so I thought I'd get out here and make a video for you guys. Sorry for the seatbelt. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if it did help though, uh, please subscribe. It'd be very appreciated. And if there's anything else you'd like to see, I know this truck pretty much inside out. And uh, I know the cons and the pros of this truck and you know what I'm pretty satisfied with the truck I bought I wouldn't trade it for any other truck and you guys know I'm a Dodge guy already I've already owned two Dodges in my life one missing shouldn't have sold the 24 valve Cummins but 
that's life. So we can always get another one. Anyways, take it easy, guys. Be safe out there. Peace.